we're taking Boomer out for a ride today, right Boom? <laughs> it's not something he often gets to do is uh, go out without Skeeter. Um, he's been picking on Skeeter, he's been misbehaving himself, so I figured I'd give him a little bit of daddy time and take him out and about on his own, which is something that we don't do very often together. Um, he jumped in the car all by himself as soon as I opened the door. I've got the leash on him just because. But uh, we're going out to go get some ducky food. What are you bobbing your head for? <laughs> I'm going out to get him some new um, all flock, which is uh, not only duck food, but it's also for feeding chickens and turkeys or whatever yard game you've got. And uh, Boomer's going for the trip. Right there, Boom. So anyway, stick around and watch this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Please click the subscribe button and ring that little dingleberry that you see down here in the corner that gives you uh, updates every time that we upload a new video. Right, Boom? Oh, you little... <laughs> you be good. You be good. Yeah, you do love your daddy, but you're bratty all the time. You are just bratty all the time. He likes to just be held. Just hold him. It's like that. I'm not even holding tight. You just put your hand there, and, and he'll stick his beak in there all by himself. You missed. Get in there. Yeah, I don't know why he does that. He does that forehead banging thing. Come on. Put your beak in there. All right, fine. Don't. <laughs> all right, we're going for a ride. You be good now, boom. Put the air conditioning on. It's hot out here. It's Florida. Yeah. And the windows go up. Ooh, did that scare you? Sorry. Uh, Daddy has to mow the lawn. Yeah, it rained a lot this week, and it grew. He's doing okay. He tried to jump into my lap a couple times and he tries to bite my hand when I grab for the stick shift. <laughs> right? Oh, now you're being good. Yeah, you're being good on the camera. Well, kind of good. Yeah, you're being kind of good. You're still bratty. You're still bratty. Yes, you are. Having a boy duck is very different than having sweet little Skeeter. The personalities are completely different. Yes, you're almost polar opposites. Skeeter just wants to love and be snuggled, and you always want to fight. Always trying to fight me, yeah. <laughs> yeah he's behaving himself. Yeah, we're almost there. We're gonna get our food, and then you're gonna go in the store. Yes, you are. You're going for a walk. I got you on your leash. You probably won't even need it. But we'll see. Sometimes he follows, sometimes he doesn't. He's been very independent even when he was a duckling, and, and I mean, I got him only a couple hours after he hatched, but still, he, he's bratty. Even as a duckling, he'd wander off and do his own thing. Yeah, you were. If you were in the wild, you'd be dead. Yep. But you have a daddy take care of you. <laughs> I guess we could turn the air conditioning back so we could record a video better. Yeah, look at you. Yeah, you're making trouble. You're making trouble. So we're at the store, we're gonna get you some food, so we're gonna let you out, let you run around. Wanna run around a little bit? Yeah, you saw a truck just pass, didn't you? Yeah, you're not used to going out and about and seeing things. This car, you kinda sit down kinda low, too. You're not really higher than the window, like in the Volkswagen. No, 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 Volkswagen, no. <laughs> All right, let's let you out. Wish I had that recorded. Boomer just started puking everywhere. Yeah, bok bok. You're gonna stay underneath that thing while I let you out because you just puked all over my car. Thank you, asshole. I've never experienced a duck barfing everywhere. That's a first. I never see him eat, so that's 
kind of an interesting surprise to see food come out of him. Usually it comes out the other end. Damn it, Boomer. Unbelievable. Can't take you anywhere. And I thought you were being well behaved, only for you to puke. Yeah, unbelievable. See, look what you did at Daddy's car. You barfed all over everything. Didn't get any on me, though, but you got it all over the car. All right, come here. Come out of there. What did you do to yourself, huh? Why are you barfing? Yeah, I can't say I've ever seen a duck throw up before. All right, Boomer. Come on, we're gonna go inside. Still can't believe what you did in my car. Yeah, in all the years I've kept ducks, you're the first one that ever puked. I've never seen a duck throw up, ever. And you puked all over my car. Yeah, all over my car. You got it everywhere. Everywhere except on me. I don't know how you did that. What a mess. Yeah, and I know you're hot now and you're all upset. And I'd already have the car started and the AC running if you didn't barf everywhere. Boomer, you're a real pain in the ass. You are. You're lucky your daddy loves you. Otherwise, you get dumped on a farm somewhere. All right, let's start this thing up, put the AC back on for you. Yeah, you know what, I'm hot too. Yeah, I'm hot too. You need to really, really chill out. Look what the hell you did here. I don't even know why you did that. You were calm. Why'd you puke? Did you get car sick? You're supposed to be able to swim, walk, and fly. You're getting seasick, air sick. I mean, what is it? <laughs> you're just a messed up bird, aren't you? Once again, you're lucky your daddy loves you so much. That's it. You be a good boy. The AC is on for you. Crank it up a little more. Okay? Now I gotta clean the car out because of you. Vomit. Duck vomit. Duck barf. Everywhere. You just puked all over everything. It's a good thing that uh, all flock. It's just like, like breakfast cereal. Once it dries up, it just crumbs off. So it's not gonna be too hard to clean up, but I just still can't believe that he puked all over the inside of the car. Your sister never puked. That's it. And all of her brothers and sisters never puked in the car. Never puked anywhere. Just you. You're the only puker in this family. All right, we're going home now. On the way home after that uh, lovely puking experience, he even took a shit when we walked in the store. And I've had Skeeter in there a million times, and not once does she ever have an accident. I take him in there, first time he's in there, he shits on the floor immediately. Yeah, lovely duck you are. I should call you a good boy, but you're not. Nope, you're not a good boy. You've been bad. Yeah, you've been bad. You've been bad. I know you're not sick. I still don't have any idea why you puked. Probably just because you're being a freak. I'm sure it's some kind of defense mechanism when ducks vomit like that and throw it all over the place. Probably he got a little worked up being in the car here alone without Skeeter. And uh, I bet you he just started yakking because of that. Yeah. Got a little freaked out, huh? And barfed. That's not nice. You made a real mess. I gotta clean out the whole center console on that side. I already started to wipe it down, but you really made a mess. That was not good, Boomer. No, Daddy does not like you when you do this. Changing lanes. Oh. This guy wants in the lane here. I don't know if I can, no, there's not enough room to let him have it. No, you missed his turn. <laughs> there just wasn't enough room to give it to him. The damn dummy. 
He wanted to get in behind me, but he didn't take that opportunity. Then he tried to pass me and slip in, and then he didn't do it. <laughs> hey, kid, boom. Huh? All right, we're going to take you home. I'm going to clean you up. Somehow there's none of it stuck to you. Yeah. What a mess. What a mess you made. Stress out your poor daddy. You think your daddy deserves this kind of stuff, huh? Yeah, you only want to look at me now. Yeah, I guilt tripped you. <laughs> yep, I have guilt tripped you. Yep. That's what birds do. I don't know why, but every time that bird gets in trouble, they always put their ass in your direction. They put their tail down and the ass in your direction and they look the other way. And that's exactly what he's done here. Yeah, you were bad. You were a bad boy. Yeah, that's what I call giving the ass. Giving me the ass. Very, very bad boy. That's it. Maybe I'll put Skeeter in the pool and you won't get to go. What do you think of that, huh? Yeah, you don't want to talk to me now. Nope, you've been in trouble. Yeah, you got in trouble, you were bad. Oh no. Why do you have to be so bad all the time? Hmm? Why do you have to be so much trouble for everybody? Why do you have to stress your daddy out? Daddy has to cut the lawn. Maybe he'll put you in the lawn and then run the lawnmower over you. Yeah. Then you can puke all you want. <laughs> Daddy wouldn't really hurt you. No, Daddy won't put you in the lawnmower. Even if you're bad, Daddy's not going to hurt you. No, he won't. He just talks a lot of crap. Ow! No biting. You don't bite the soft skin. Bad. Be good. mischievous he is. He bites that soft skin underneath my wrist. Man, that hurts. Alright. We're bringing you in now. You go back to your sit. No biting. You don't bite. Now he's actually coming out of the box just to bite me. He's challenging me. A little alpha rivalry here. Boomer, I'm bigger than you. I'm a lot bigger than you, and with two fingers I can stop you. See, look. You've been restrained. I don't even have to squeeze you hard. Why don't you start being good? Don't do this bad stuff, okay? Alright, we're gonna go in the house now. You ready to come out of there? Look what you did. I already started to wipe it off and that made no difference. We're gonna need a wet rag in here. Come on. Out of the car, come on. Out of the car. You gonna come out of there or what? Come on, out. There you go. No, don't go under the door. Let's evaluate what you did here. You puked all over your blanket. You puked all over the seat. All over the center console. I'm sure you got it down on the carpet. No, actually, it's not bad. It's all over the inner door. See what you did? You see this? Yeah, you did it. And you're looking at it, too. Yeah, you're facing away from me again. You know you're in trouble. You really do know you're in trouble. You've been really bad, Boomer. Really, really bad. Uh-huh. You've been shamed. Oh yeah, you're frozen. You are frozen. You know you're in trouble. This is not how you normally behave. Look at you. <laughs> okay, you ready to go inside? Come on, we're going to bring you in. No more puking, okay? Yeah, he just had an episode where he got afraid of the garage door opener. The garage door opener isn't going to hurt you. bring your food in. I can take you off the leash now, but I'm not gonna. No. Part of this is your punishment for being bad today and puking in the car. Okay. Go inside. Go back to Skeeter. Alright, get in the box. In the box. 
In the box. Good boy. You didn't have to step on Skeeter, though. Let me undo your hook. Come here. Come on. You get it. Should have taken you with us today, Skeeter. Boomer puked everywhere. Yeah. You've never puked in the car. I know you haven't. You've always been a very, very good girl. Yes, you have. All right, everybody. Thumbs up for the video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, which is down here in the corner. Don't forget to ring that little dingleberry that you see. Um, that's important for you to get updates every time we upload a new video. So thanks for watching. Till next time.